Well, hey there, guys, and welcome back. On this week's show, we got some dad jokes. Well, for those of you who don't know, and I don't know who wouldn't know, but dad jokes are jokes that are so bad, they're good. Just corny, play on words, that sort of thing. And last year at Father's Day, I did a show on dad jokes and it was ridiculously popular. I got so many requests asking to do another one. So I thought, why not make it an annual thing? Bring it here to the show and just see what happens. So that's what we're gonna do today. So. Without further ado, let's head over to the bench. I have a list of dad jokes. Uh, some I've read already, some I will be reading for the first time. This could go really well or it could go really south really quickly. So let's head over to the bench. You know, I only seem to get sick on weekdays. Maybe I have a weekend immune system. A friend of mine was showing me his shed and he pointed to his stepladder and said, that's my stepladder. I never knew my real ladder. What, what do you call a Frenchman wearing sandals? Philippe Flop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, why is it so cheap to throw a party at a haunted house? Because the ghosts bring all the booze. <laughs> the booze, the booze, the booze. <laughs> ah, why aren't you laughing? This is good stuff. I just found out I'm colorblind. The news came right out of the purple. <laughs> what is the difference between a well-dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bicycle. A tire. <laughs> a tire. A a you know, out of all of the inventions over the past hundred years, I'd say the dry erase board has to be the most remarkable. What do you call a lineup of men waiting for a haircut? It's a barbecue. <laughs> My hotel tried to charge me extra for air conditioning. That's not cool. <laughs> this morning, Siri said, don't call me Shirley. I realized then that I had left my phone in airplane mode. If you get that joke, you're old. <laughs> I had a date with a girl at, at, at a gym, but she never showed up. Oh, well, I guess we're not going to work out. Found a wooden shoe in my toilet today. It was, it was clogged. <laughs> Almost made it through that one. <laughs> I used to make my living running a, a dating service for chickens, but honestly, I was having too many troubles making hens meat. <laughs> what is a lawyer's favorite drink? Sapina colada. <laughs> I asked my wife if she was the only one she slept with. She said, well, yeah, the rest were sevens and eights. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> I ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll let you know. I was playing chess with my friend and he said, let's make this interesting. <laughs> So we stopped playing chess. Oh, uh, that's not nice. I like chess. <laughs> I am so addicted to collecting vintage Beatles albums. I need help. <laughs> I don't even like the Beatles. Not to brag, but I made six figures last year. In other news, I was also voted the worst employee at the toy factory. <laughs> I built a model of Mount Everest and my daughter said, is that to scale? And I said, no, it's to look at. <laughs> what, <laughs> what has five toes and is not your foot? 
my foot. <laughs> What's brown and sticky? Hey, stick. <laughs> Who comes up with these? Uh, I don't know what's worse. The guys that come up with these are the guy that's repeating them here. Does anyone know where someone can find a person to hang out with, talk to, and enjoy spending time with? I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> How come the Hulk does not lose his pants when he transforms? The experiment altered his genes. I just spent 300 bucks on a limo to take me to the airport. And then the company tells me it does not come with the driver. So now I've just blown 300 bucks and nothing to show for it. <laughs> What's green and has wheels? Grass. <laughs> I lied about the wheels. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, what is the best thing about living in Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. <laughs> Look it up, kids. <laughs> How many clickbait articles does it take to change a light bulb? The answer will shock you. Where do dads store their dad jokes? In a database. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just stop. Stop. Uh, <laughs> I, tr <laughs> I tried to start a professional hide and seek team, but it didn't work out. Apparently, good players are hard to find. Uh, I used to be really addicted to soap. But I'm clean now. I wanted my kids to watch an orchestra, but I had to turn it off. Way too much sax and violins. <laughs> a police officer started crying while writing me out a ticket. And I asked him, I said, you okay? What's wrong? He says, I'm fine. <laughs> it's a moving violation. <laughs> so moving. I asked the IT guy at work, how, how do you make a motherboard? He says, I, I usually tell her about my job. <laughs> uh, what's it called when James Bond takes a bath? Bubble 07. <laughs> These are horrible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my goodness I don't know if I can read this one 30% of pet owners let their pets sleep in their bed I tra tried it and it didn't work out my goldfish died <laughs> ah, okay I didn't see that one coming what is the difference between a literalist and a kleptomaniac well a literalist takes everything literally and a kleptomaniac takes everything, literally. My father was actually a conjoined twin, but they were separated at birth. So now I have an uncle once removed. <laughs> I went to a smoke shop only to find out it had been replaced by a clothing store. Clothes, but no cigar. Why should you never brush your teeth with your left hand? <laughs> because, a tooth, because a toothbrush works better. <laughs> My grief counselor died the other day. He was so good at his job that I don't even care. <laughs> uh, oh, man. I'm going to get complaints about that one. Uh, give a man a plane ticket and he'll fly for the day. Push him out of a plane at 3,000 feet and he'll fly for the rest of his life. These are dark. <laughs> uh, 
I just read that someone in London gets stabbed every 52 seconds. <laughs> that poor bastard. <laughs> Ah, 52 seconds. Ah, 52 seconds. Ah, that's horrible. <laughs> What's worse than biting into an apple and finding a worm? <laughs> biting into an apple and finding half a worm. <laughs> I just got my doctor's test results and I'm really upset. Turns out uh, I'm not going to be a doctor. <laughs> Just look at that couple down the road, a wife told her husband. He keeps holding her hand, kissing her, holding the door for her. Why can't you do that? Are you insane? I barely know that woman. <laughs> my wife and I were out to dinner and the waitress started flirting with me and my wife said, that woman must have COVID. And I said, how do you know that? She says, it's easy. She has no taste. What did the buffalo say when he dropped his child off at school? Bye, son. <laughs> I've often wondered what my parents did for entertainment before the internet. I asked all 22 of my brothers and sisters, but they didn't know either. Hmm. A child decided to burn his house down, and as the house was burning, his father had tears in his eyes, put his arm around his wife, and said, That's our son. <laughs> ah, I am going to lose so many subscribers over this show. What's your name, son? The principal asked the student. The child replied, D -d 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 David. The principal says, Do you have a stutter? The student answered, No, sir. My dad has a stutter, but the guy who registered my name is a real jerk. <laughs> and there you have it. A little bit of humor with some dad jokes for Father's Day. Guys, these are just a bit of fun, a little way to break up the monotony of the week and have a couple laughs, and why not? There is so much junk going on with our world today. What's wrong with a little bit of laughter? Now, I really wanted to have this show prior to Father's Day, but then we had the laser show last week on the Tuesday to make some projects for Father's Day, and this one ended up to be two days late. Guys, it is never too late to celebrate the fathers in our lives. I'm unfortunate enough to be one of the people that no longer has a father. My father passed away in 2015. But there's still those of you that have fathers. So tell them some of these jokes. Give them a call. See what they're doing. It's never too late to celebrate the father that was there for you throughout your childhood. And even if they weren't there throughout your childhood, it's not too late to start a relationship. So don't feel that Father's Day is one of those things that is the one day of the, of the year, guys. If you missed it for some reason or it slipped your mind or what have you, don't worry about it. Give them a call and have a little bit of a chat because it's never too late to celebrate your dad. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in this week. I hope you've enjoyed the content. A little bit of fun, a little bit of uh, of some different stuff there. I don't know, some real groaners. Uh, I, I'm going to lose subscribers over this, I'm sure. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We have an amazing audience base, and I'm hoping that you're going to become a, a part of that, guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope you're going to tell some of these jokes maybe to 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 somebody and that they're not gonna walk away from you and more importantly i hope you're gonna join me again next week when i bring you yet another alternative tuesdays